Hey YouTube, Papa here. Just a quick video um, on something I stumbled on I didn't even know existed. This is a review of the Haigus, I guess how you pronounce it. This is a dovetail to Picatinny adapter. Dovetail, I mean like on a 22. And this is actually a pretty neat deal. It comes, let's see if I can get the light right. Sorry for the lighting, it sucks in here. There we go. It's got a set screw here you can use to lock it down. And it also has a set screw here that once you get this compressed to hold it in place, you don't really need to if you're just putting it on a 22. Um, and you're probably not going to need this because there isn't anything for this set screw to go into on a 22 that I know of. But they use it for air guns. So, But it's actually pretty neat. Let me show you how you do it. It's a one piece rail. And what you do is you, you put it on your... Item you're wanting to mount your Picatinny with a red dot or whatever and snap it in place okay and that cross the recoil lug holds it in place and then as you tighten down the picatinny clamp it also squeezes down on the dovetail and i'm telling you it really clamps down good uh, let's see if i can get the, there we go you can see as, as as you tighten this down, it tightens onto that dovetail. And I mean, it grabs hold of it really good. The thing I like about this is, uh, on my 22, I, just, I didn't want a, a big tall mount to have to really get my cheek up to shoot it. And this keeps it relatively low. I mean, really low. This is as low as you can go with any Picatinny mount that I saw out there for a dovetail. And... Uh, It'll fit on almost any. There's a better picture of it. On any Picatinny rail here. And it just clamps it right down to that dovetail. Um, I, when I looked, it was $10.99 on, um, on Amazon. And that's just slicker and slick, I think. And... That's what I'm putting my red dot on my 22 with. It's just, it's a nice, well-built, you know, once you get it on, you're never going to take it off. I don't know about locking it down. I see no reason to lock it down. It would be kind of a pain once you get it in there to get the, uh, comes with two different size Allen wrenches. But I don't see any reason on 22 to have to lock it down. The only reason I think you would have to lock it down it would be on like a, um, an air gun or something where you want to get this uh, additional um, recoil thing locked down. But on a 22 with, with the clamping forces things got going on, I, I see no need. Anyway, if you have any questions, comments, post them down below. Remember, give me a thumbs up. Yep, right there. It helps with the stupid YouTube algorithm. And uh, thank you very much. And a merry belated Christmas to everybody. And remember, keep smiling because <laughs> it makes people wonder what you've been up to. Take care. Bye.